Let's move on to main topic number two. And our second main topic today gets submitted to us by Sam Sprill, who writes, Hey, John and Rob, it's been reported that Mike Flanagan is set to adapt Stephen King Stephen King's novel Revival for Warner Brothers. For me, this is exciting news since he is the director behind Dr. Sleep and the Netflix series The Haunting on House Hill. Your thoughts. All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And listen, I'm going to tell you right now, Dr. Sleep was probably the most underappreciated and underperforming compared to what it deserved to do movie from last year. Dr. Sleep starring Ewan McGregor, which was a terrible title for it. I don't care that the book, that, that was the name of the book. I don't care. It was a terrible title for it. It confused too many people. They didn't market it right. Um, but the movie itself was great. I was perfectly happy with the film. I had a very, very good time watching that movie. I thought they did some really cool things with it. It deserved to do better. Of course, it, it very much did uh, struggle a bit. But I'm telling you what, Mike Flanagan did a really good job, I feel, directing that. And I've seen a few episodes of that Netflix series. My wife loves it. I liked what I saw. I haven't seen the whole thing. I'm, I got like three or four episodes in and then I got sidetracked, but he's done a good job with this. Now, how I feel though about him doing Revival, I don't know because I have not read Revival. I mean, I've read the synopsis. I understand it's about this preacher kind of loses the way, his connection to this kid later on, the, re, the two reconnect, all this kind of stuff. I really don't know much about it. All I know is this. He did a fabulous job, Rob, with one Stephen King property. Sign me up to see if he wants to do another. Now, Rob, besides being a film guy, you're a book guy. I'm going to go mm. out on a limb and I'm going to guess you have. We haven't talked about this. I'm going to guess you have read Revival and you know about it. Have you read it? And if so, uh, give us a, a what, what's the it basically about and then what do you think about Mike coming on to direct and develop a project based on it? Well, not only have I read it, it's my favorite Stephen King book that's come out in the last, I don't know, half decade. Really? And yeah, it's it's the Odyssey of a man who has a very interesting relationship with electricity. <laughs> Let's say and and there's elements of Frankenstein, uh, there's elements of Ringling Brothers and ba uh, Bailey Circus. It's a very interesting character study, and I, 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 I loved the book. Now, I've talked to a lot of people that didn't love it as much as I did. I really like this book. It has, it, it to me, it was classic King. It deals with Americana. It deals with memory. It deals with loss, personal loss. Um, it's really good. And it's the kind of it, to me it was classic King, and uh, I I love the book and I think he's a perfect director for it. Uh, I I'm really excited and like you I thought Doctor Sleep was what Doctor Sleep did was actually pretty amazing, being a sequel to both the novel and the movie The Shining, which is different considering which is crazy considering how different both of those things are. So I'm stoked about Revival and I I think. Uh, I, I I can't wait to see who they're going to cast in the movie because mm. casting is going to be a big deal in this one. Well, they've got the right filmmaker behind it, and that's the part that excites me most. Question is, guys, have any of you guys read Revival? If not, what do you think about the guy who directed Dr. Sleep coming in developing this new Stephen King property? I'm excited about it. Rob is clearly excited about it, but maybe you aren't. Jump down to the comment section below and let us know what you guys think. All right.